Hey everyone, Sam Signorelli, H1 Fencing. Welcome back to another edition of I Can Has Armory. This time, let's look at the tongue of the mask. Let's look at <laughs> the exploded version. As you can see from this tongue being ripped apart, you can see the inside of it. It's simply an eighth inch thick wire, kind of spring stillish, that goes around the mask in the shape of the tongue. And it was only secured to the mask shell by two welds right here where the halves of the mask come together and supported by that rivet. Um, if this tongue breaks, and you can do it by bending it back and forth and fatigue breaking it like bending a paper clip, if that tongue breaks anywhere, it's dead. Uh, it's easier to buy a new mask. The only person I knew recently who could fix this, and have to re-weld it and strip it down and do it, was Tim Loomis, and he passed away in 2012. So it's kind of hard to get work out of him at this point. Um, this mask, this tongue can be fixed easy enough. You can see the inside is just some cardboard to take up the space and the vinyl covering over it. What I'm going to do is make a sock that fits over this to cover it up and just make it so it doesn't look so no nasty. I could wrap tape around it, but it would catch my hair if I had any. So I'll make the sock and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back and I have made my sock. This is about, you know, four layers of material folded it over and so we sewed it down all on both ends. That's the join line. The, this hole in here is where the mask tongue is going to go, but first I'm going to turn it inside out so the seam's nice and neat. So just fold it out inside like this. And there we are. And all I'm going to do is simply slip it over the tongue, like so. Mask does not want to stay still. There we go. Those. Slip it back over. Hang on a second. I'm pull back a little more here. I'm gonna pull all the way down. So bottom is out against the bottom of the tongue. I'm gonna take something like scissors and push it down inside here. That way it's under the top of the top shell of the mask. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sew it in place. The same technique I used on the straps is sewing it. Through the holes and just just through the holes through the material just to hold it in place and that would be uh this would work for i'm not sure if this passes a tournament but for a club mass it's chewed up if you don't want to be to you know to get poked by the uh by the strap or everything hanging out there probably a decent fix as always happy armoring